Hello, hello. Hope everybody is having a great night and a great summer. Welcome to What's New at Heroes World. I'm your host, Andre Greenidge, co-owner of Heroes World Comic Shop of the New Millennium. And today is Tuesday. And if you know what that means, that is one day before our big Wednesday new release. So what's new at Heroes World? What is this show all about? It is about some of the cool new products that come into our store. Now, Wednesday is new comic book day, so that's the busiest day. And that is when the bulk of our new releases come out. So I have chosen Tuesday evenings to bring you a sample of some of the cool stuff that is coming in to the shop. Also, I'll be adding in anything that came in for the latter half of the week, because sometimes we'll get shipments arriving on Thursdays and Fridays. So if you want to get all the news on what's hot, what's new, what's exciting, and also what's coming back in, make sure you tune in every Tuesday and follow here. That's right, Heroes World Online. That is going to connect you with all our social stuff. It's going to get you to our Instagram, our Facebook, our YouTube, and now our Twitch. So if you want to reach us, any of those social channels, plus the good old-fashioned phone at the store, as well as our email. So without further ado, let's talk about Andre's favorite things, and that's comic books. That's right, comics are my first love, my first passion, what drove me to get into the store. And I'm going to give you a selection of just some of the titles that are coming out. These are the ones that I think you will be interested in. But if I don't talk about a series that you're collecting, never fear. We probably have it at the store, and I just can't cover everything. So without further ado, let's talk about The Symbiote Spider-Man. This is the new series called Crossroads, and it is brought to us by Greg Land and Peter David. Stellar team. They have been doing this series of books, and they do them as a series of limited series, okay? And as the title tells you, it's all about Spider-Man when he still had the symbiote. This is a great story, or the first part anyways. We've got Spider-Man teaming up with the Black Cat. We see cameos and appearances of villains as well as friends in this book. So I really want to see where this book goes. But Peter David, great writer, Greg Land, stellar artist. So if you like Spider-Man when he was in that symbiote costume, you've got three or four different series to choose from, as well as this brand new one that just came out. All right, my next up pick for the week is Star Wars. This is War of the Bounty Hunters. Look at that cover. Just We popped up an image there so you can see it in all its glory. This is a super, super cool book. Now look at this cover. You notice you've got Luke Skywalker with his his x-wing pilot suit but this whole image sorry this whole comic is almost all space battle look at this art here it is star wars to the core we see capital ships we see the snub fighters we see tie fighters we see the millennium falcon great story of course when you know there's star wars ships involved you know that admiral akbar is going to be in there and of course it doesn't disappoint so if you're an old school star wars fan and you love those space battles that book is definitely for you so next up from marvel again we have got the latest in the shang chi series and oh are those wolverine's claws Oh my goodness, is Shang-Chi going to tussle with our Canadian knucklehead Wolverine? Well, definitely that cover does spoil it. But wow, what a cool series this has been. This has been Shang-Chi basically tussling with some of these Marvel heroes. And in this one, he does go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Wolverine. Don't want to spoil anything else, but I think this series has just given us a taste of who Shang-Chi is because we know that Marvel movie's coming out. I think, is it next month? No, it's definitely coming out in September, not next month, but it's around the corner. So if you don't know much about Shang-Chi, definitely come into the shop and check out some of those limited series. All right, another book that has been smoking hot all summer long has been The Berserker. That's right, this is Keanu Reeves' own book. This is a foil cover, that's why it didn't show up too much. But we've got three great foil covers, plus three regular covers. Berserker follows a brand new character who is an immortal. He's on a quest to die, and yet he's a super soldier. So the first four issues, we are learning about his backstory and his origin. But 
something is revealed in this issue that there's more going on than we have been led to believe so far. Great series so far. Keanu Reeves is one of the co-creators, and you probably have heard it is going to be a Netflix series. So why not get the jump on finding about what that book is all about? All right, check out this one. This is one of Andre's highly recommended books. This is Daredevil, number 32. Oh, and why does Daredevil look like Elektra on that cover? Well, Matt Murdock is in jail. Elektra has picked up the reins of Daredevil as she tries to track down the murderous bullseye. And, of course, in order to don the costume, she cannot kill, so she has two new blunt size and Spider-Man is even in this comic saying, hey, what are your plans when you catch this bullseye guy? What are you going to do? Great series written by fellow Canadian and local boy Chip Zdarsky. This book has been on fire. Definitely want to pick up this arc with Elektra and Daredevil in jail. But if you want to catch the whole series, we have it available in softcover and hardcover at the store as well. Super, super cool book. I think you will really enjoy it. All right, next up, we have got Batman Secret Files, The Huntress. Now, you've probably heard me gush, gush, gush about the new Detective comic series. This book actually spins right out of it. Remember that last story arc where the Huntress got possessed by this parasitic organism and she went after Batman as we see in this? This is what happens to her after that. She's been rid of the parasite, but there's still something nagging in the back of her brain, making her see things, making her do things, and she's trying to put a stop to that. Great tie into Detective Comics, which is, of course, my next pick of the week. This is Detective Comics number 1040, brought to us by the stellar team of Mariko Tanaka, Tamika, sorry, I mispronounced that, and Stellar Art by Dan Mora. This issue, look at that cover, Bruce Wayne behind bars. Yep, that actually happens, folks, so I don't want to spoil anything about that, but two great covers, an excellent book. We have all the parts for this brand new creative team on this book, so definitely pop by the store. You want to check it out. It is a good read. It is an Andre recommended read. I just absolutely love it. All right, and this one here, right, just basically because of the cover. Look at this cover. This is Robin, number four, another Canadian cover. This is Francis Manipal drawing Rose, the son, the daughter of Deadpool. Deadpool, Deathstroke the Terminator. Come on, Andre, this is live. Yeah, great cover, great book. This is following Damian Wayne, the son of Batman, in his adventures, and it's been a pretty cool book, all four issues in. We have all four in stock at the shop, so again, you might want to check it out if you're looking for something new, and it has ties to the Titans. All right, so this is my super pick of the week. I want everybody to pick up a copy of this book and I don't want excuses about it, folks. All right, this is Superman, Son of Kal-El, brand new number one, all right? This is brought to us by Tom Taylor. You've heard me talk about Tom Taylor and that exceptional run of Nightwing that he started. This is him tackling Jonathan Kent, the son of Kal-El, the son of Clark Kent. Why is he looking so old and basically like a man and not a super boy. Well, in the Bendis run of Superman, he got shunted to the future to live with his biological grandfather and returned as the boy you see on the screen. And this is his first kind of big adventure, his first title. And wow, it was fantastic. I want to bring up a page here. This is him in action, putting out fires. And oh, it's so sad because this is a, going on right now. It's really close to home. There's a lot of forest fires in Ontario and down south, and the world's really coming together to put those out. But in this, there's Tom Taylor uses characters so well. Superman is out in space while Lois is pregnant, and the rest of the league is just like, come back, Clark. We got this. And look at this great moment here. This is Superman at this, uh, you know, the Fortress of Solitude. He's basically protecting it. He's like, nobody's getting in. Go in there, Clark you know, do what you have to do. This is where you belong. And that handshake right at the bottom, you know, he's like, thanks for coming, Bruce. And he's just like, I wouldn't be anywhere else. I wouldn't miss this for the world. And that just goes to show you these little character moments, you know, these guys, Superman, Batman, they may be, you know, the whole comic world likes to put them at, at odds and who would win Superman and Batman. But these guys are buds, they're friends that, you know, 
just an amazing first issue and it's going to get you to know Jonathan Kent. So all those people who say, oh, Superman's too much this, too much that, I want you to try this book. I guarantee you're going to like it. All right. We've got um, another new series here. This is Icon and Rocket from DC's The Return of Milestone. This is called Icon and Rocket Season 1. And if you don't know too much about Milestone, it was a comic line in the 90s, uh, and they are rebranding it and bringing it back, modernizing it and rebooting it, okay? If you want to get the jump and know all about it, they released back in, I want to say June, a book called Milestone Returns. It was kind of a zero issue, and it tells you about Icon and Rocket, who they are. It tells you about Static. It also introduces hardware. So it's kind of like a primer book to set you up in who these heroes are in this universe. Icon and Rocket are a dynamic duo. Icon's kind of like a super Superman-esque. He's an alien from another planet who has decided to become a protector of Earth. And he basically gives Rocket powers via a belt. And the two of them are trying to rid her city of crime, but also inspire everybody around Earth to do the same thing. Next up, we have Static Season 1. We've got both issues. There's Issue 1 and Issue 2 is out. And Static, you might know from the cartoon that he had as well as the comic book. So this is a kid who attends a protest and the police use kind of, they, they test out some type of anti-riot weaponry that gives kids powers, okay? And now it's, what do we do with these kids that we've created with power some of them are rich some of them are poor a lot of them are not getting the help that they need but static he obviously gets the power of electricity and his nemesis at high school gets the power of fire so they tussle in the first two issues and stuff but pretty cool the art in both of these series are stellar and if you're looking for something new something that you haven't checked out before i highly recommend both of those books so guys there you have my rundown for comics for this week remember there are even more new titles at the shop but i can't go over all of them because we would be here all night now that is okay for some people, but I've got to open the store tomorrow to make sure everybody can get their goods. And speaking of goods, every day, except for Monday, we are getting restocks as we build back up our collection of trade paperbacks and omnibuses and all kinds of comic book, book goodness. The distribution channels are all rolling. So we've been getting great restocks and I want to showcase three great creators on one of the greatest superheroes and they are stellar all right so we are talking wonder woman and let's go with wonder woman volume one by john byrne john byrne reinvigorates any character he touches and this stuff came out in the 80s but it stands up today there's three volumes this is book one in hardcover and i highly recommend this if you are a fan of wonder woman of course, you're going to notice that there's some 80s stuff, some 80s hairstyles and all that, but these books are fantastic. If you're a fan of Wonder Woman, or if you've liked the Wonder Woman movie, or uh, any of the recent stuff for Thor in the cartoon, you need to check out these because this is where they have brought out some of those characteristics and traits that make the modern Wonder Woman. Next up, another classic, and I think this guy's probably had the biggest impact on Wonder Woman. It's Wonder Woman by George Perez. You've heard the name. Uh, George Perez, again, this guy is, he's just a juggernaut. We've got all three volumes of this series. And again, it's really, really great. It's classic stuff. It's original stuff. Just fantastic. And last but certainly not least, we've got all three volumes of Wonder Woman by Greg Rucka. Uh, Rucka also wrote some of uh, Wonder Woman in the New 52 as well as the Rebirth. So he is a stellar writer for this character. The Amazon Princess has never been better than she has been with these three people at the helm of writing and creating her. So lots to choose from at the store. These are my focus. Uh, so hopefully you guys have seen something that you might not have known we had before or something that, you know, catches you and says, hey, I got to check that out next time we're in the store. Now, speaking of checking out things, I have been on a real samurai kick uh, lately. Uh, John, my partner at the store for Christmas, gave me three Blu-rays 
of the Kenshin series. And these were the live action. Uh, and I just recently watched them. So I've been all about samurai stuff. So I brought in some really cool stuff for the shop. First up, let's talk about Blade of the Immortal. Bam, what an amazing, amazing, epic manga series. And for the first time, it is available in hardcover in its original format. Now, what is Blade of the Immortal all about? Well, you have got this manslayer, Manji, and he has been cursed. He cannot die until he kills a thousand, that's right, a thousand bad men, evil men. And he is helped by this person here in the front that she has basically entrusted him to help her get revenge. So it's a revenge story, but the art is beautiful. The action is intense. Uh, so far, there's two volumes out. There's going to be another third volume on the way in the next couple months. But if you like manga, if you like samurai stuff, definitely want to check that series out. It is stellar. Black and white art, just amazing, amazing stuff. Kinetic energy, like, I love it. Can't say enough about that series, so definitely check it out. Also, big video game player here, and I love this series, or the game. It's not a series yet, but I hope they do more. Ghost of Tsushima, and we brought in the art book for that. Dark Horse Comics did an amazing, amazing job with this art book. It is fabulous. Um, just look at that. That's the, the bindings almost look like bamboo. The art inside is stellar. Um, yeah, I just love it. And they are going to be doing a upgrade to the PS5. So if you guys have got a PS5 out there or you haven't played this game, I highly recommend it. Uh, yeah, great story. The art's fantastic. If you're not even into the games, but you just like really good art, this is an art book just for you. So speaking of good quality books and from Dark Horse, actually Blade of the Mortals from Dark Horse, Ghost of Tsushima from Dark Horse, let's talk about the Hellboy Library Editions. These editions came out, I think, a couple years ago, but now we're able to bring back all six of them in stock. So Hellboy is the creation of Mike Mignola, and look at that. We've got all six of them, thick hardcovers, beautifully bound, larger than life, heavy books, and it is each volume. There's six plus Hellboy in Hells for a total of seven amazing stuff if you've never read hellboy you definitely got to check it out this first volume gives us seed of destruction as well as wake the devil great great series uh can't say enough like if you like mignola or you saw the movies and you're just any bit interested in the character definitely read the book it's so much better in my opinion than the movies not that the movies were bad but you just get more and uh, this version is definitely worth it looks great on your shelf and it'll inspire you to collect the other one so totally totally yeah they are just beautiful books the art is fantastic the storylines are great uh, mignola is a master of shadow and composition and storytelling you know hellboy is a great great story so lots of books go that i've talked about so far so let's switch gears here um as you guys may know or may not know we celebrated a milestone anniversary uh this july we turned 20 years old that's why you see a lot of the branding of 20 and 21 and this past sunday a couple days ago my good friend ken lashley came to the store to celebrate with us so we had an in-store event he was signing he was sketching he was entertaining and it was a great day we had cake from one of our customers uh so it was just a fantastic day and because a lot of people couldn't make it ken left some excellent excellent prints with us to sell so we have a limited quantity of these prints okay so this is just a mock-up image there's five different prints that first one you see is wolverine versus omega red and that's the image that ken did for us last year during the pandemic to help us raise money the next is spider-man that's his cover from non-stop spider-man number one We've got War of the Bounty Hunters and Boba Fett. We've got his Spawn cover when he drew a couple issues of Spawn as well. And the last one is Wolverine versus Sabretooth. So we've got some of these. We've got, I think, three full sets of five of those prints. They're available in the store, and we have a couple loose prints. But he also left us some of his War of the Bounty Hunter number one. He's left us some of these covers signed. I think we have about five of them signed by him. And we've also got sets of this cover as well as the version cover that does not have any 
logo on it. So those are available in the shop. Again, very, very limited quantities for those. So if you are interested in those, post up quickly and come and see us in the shop. Uh, I'm not too sure if we can do shipping on those just yet, but we will try our best to see if we can accommodate you. Yeah, they're beautiful prints. Uh, and in those sets that we have, one print randomly will be signed by Ken Lashley. So a very gracious, uh, yeah, very cool event that we had over the weekend. And uh, Ken's just the best. You know, everybody was super entertained and we all had a lot of fun. All right, so that's a look at the merchandise and stuff. I got one last thing that's super cool to share with you guys. Over the pandemic, we got into carrying puzzles, but we had to do it our way, right? So we carried some Mondo puzzles by Mondo. We've got the very cool Die Hard puzzle. And now we've been bringing in D&D &D puzzles. That's right. We love D&D &D at the store. And we got the brand new Beholder puzzle. So look at this one. This is awesome. Uh, it's just super cool. The artwork's amazing. Good quality puzzle. And also the other puzzle that we have from Dungeons and Dragons is the Tiamat puzzle. So yeah, super cool. We're going to start bringing out all these kind of unique puzzles and stuff like that. Something to have fun with that reflects our store and all the different things that we carry in the shop. So guys, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to say Hope your summer's going well. You know, it's uh, already August right now, so we're almost on that countdown slide, but there's still lots of time for you to have fun, lots of time for you guys to come into the shop. We are now back fully open. We're stage three in Ontario, so we're open five days a week, ready to talk, ready to recommend stuff. Hopefully, you're ready to come by and look around. If you're not in our neck of the woods, like I said, Heroes World Online, see what's in uh, our website, see what we've got on our Instagram, see what we've got here on YouTube. We're bringing you lots of different content all the time. So hopefully that's giving you a taste of what's in the store and what we have to offer that makes our shop unique. So if you like this video, I want you to hit that subscribe button. I also want to hit that thumbs up. And maybe, maybe, maybe you want to hit the bell so you get the notifications for when we do this. But not only that, make sure you are tuning into our other stuff. We have got our Sunday podcast, the Heroes World podcast. John's going live on Mondays doing some fun, fun stuff with the Sidekick Show. I'm here on Tuesday nights. Then we've got Thursday nights bringing you Hey, What I Miss. So there should be something for everybody. And as I said, we are going to be working on a Twitch stream. Maybe I'll be playing some video games. Maybe we'll do some interviews, all kinds of stuff. So. Hopefully, that's enough Heroes World for you to tide you over till you can come to the shop. And like I said, if you are not in our neck of the woods and you're enjoying our content, let us know. Uh, we just dropped a very fun movie trailer reaction to Ghostbusters. Let us know in the comments how you feel about that, what you're looking forward to. We love to converse and interact with you. So once again, guys, stay safe, have fun. And if you have any questions about anything that I talked about here, please, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask us. And also, please continue to celebrate with us our 20th year. As I like to say, it's 20 in 21. Thank you again so much for joining me tonight and have a good one.